Welcome to a windy Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. According to the weather forecast, it should be raining now. Maybe the last rain of this uh, rainy season. But uh, as the community said, uh, in Spain it rains the whole year. In summer it rains just much less. I like that. We don't have monsoon rains. It's a whole different kettle of fish. I am uh, carrying things around out of the disaster zone and uh, I have also cleared some paths then I started realizing that um, fire likes to move uphill I mean it depends on many factors but uh, and this is our uphill and this is also when the wind comes from and this is where I have a uh, tiny country road between me and the neighbor so uh, and I am the one with all the growth, the plants, the grasses. So, this is the lowest part, the northwestern corner. And in summer and in winter, the wind is actually more from this side and then because a fire heats up the higher part because this is where the flow of the air is and then uh, obviously it burns much easier uphill why am I concerned about this uh, I think one should be our summers are very hot and dry. Also, I have lots of vegetation that will already is turning brown and dry and will be very dry very soon. So it depends on the temperature in the air, depends on the wind direction, depends on the humidity, the strength of the wind, many, many factors. So I must do what I can. Our house is made out of concrete, so I'm not too concerned about that. This swells that we clean the inner section already disappears from the growth on the side of it so uh, we'll have to go through here and just bend this away from the middle and expose what we have that we want to grow there. We have currently as the biggest trees here these um, pistachio, the local pistachio that is not as pistachio, it doesn't produce any nuts, fruit. And here we have our cutting of a rose and we have a pomegranate a 
And we have a dog. Some more lentiscos. And then a uh, chestnut from seed. A cactus. This is the retama. Very well adapted to this conditions. No leaves as, su as such. It's going into flower. Beautiful yellow flowers. And then I went down here all along the fence line. But a lot more to go. And soon we will not be allowed to use this kind of equipment because uh, anything that hits a rock with a steel blade causes a spark, causes fire. Andalusia has one of the best firefighting operations I think in the world. Um, all aeroplanes and uh, helicopters can be ordered to take part in firefighting and uh, a huge team of people permanently on the ground and uh, several apps where people can share what is happening. This is the western part and it's much uh, more moist, still more moist because of all these trees here. I thought because the sun sets in the west, the western afternoon sun is the hottest, but perhaps that is still coming. I will see it's the first time we had the opportunity to really read what is happening on the land regarding water. Is loquat ready to be harvested? This is the only tree that the fungi didn't get to. This weekend we go to a wedding and uh, I have placed some bridges, makeshift planks for the farm sitters. I know where each hole is on the farm but uh, a newcomer might find it difficult. So I cut some grass and I placed it there that they can see it. The uh, last thing I want for them is to break a leg. Although this is the English expression. These peach trees, they still look fine. No problem with the fungi as yet. The creek is still flowing. I must calculate how many days. In the past it was half a day and then uh, last year a week. 
and this might be 10 weeks by now. I've also taken some of that green growth that grows in the water and inoculated it into the pond. Let's see. And these peach trees, they uh, did not escape the fungi. They actually look terrible. I'm not sure they will ripen their fruit. I have treated them about three times with copper over the last three months. Maybe it's not their place. We have had asparagus about three times a week as a meal um, the last six weeks and now we just leave them to grow there are male plants and female plants obviously the female plants producing the seeds this is what we want and also the roots must be nourished so that they can continue as a plant. Many of these moringas took off but I don't know if they will survive. So I cleared this area here between the fence and these swales. More Paulovnias, potato, um, hackberry, potato, um, leek, Paulovnia. I don't see anything growing in between. Another potato, leek, potato, fig. Another hackberry, potato, polofnia, potato, hackberry. There's a um, quince cutting. Nothing came from these cuttings. Uh, this is a, a um, mert, another quince cutting. Some chestnut, hackberry, paulovnia. This one we chopped to the ground. It's growing the polofnia. Another quince cutting. These are pear cuttings I took from trees that they say is more than a hundred years old. So I look forward to see what they do. It's interesting the dogs are eating the young uh, fig leaves. I asked AI but I'm not much wiser. It's just because they need it or like it. The future here is to do more 
concentrated work in specific areas. I think we have the blueprint. So it's time to focus on some areas and develop them as centropic gardens and see what comes from it. This is, we are in our fourth year. This is the third rose garden. And now I cannot find a single rose. Okay, they are there. Still contemplating their own future. Here is one that's doing well. Beautiful sight. Till next time. Goodbye.